How's it going? Hope everybody's enjoying their day today. Now, I ain't got a pipe lit yet because today I'm going to do the uh, first impressions of this here temple bar. Now, I already got it uh, loaded up there. Uh, I wanted to play with this a little bit inside. That way it wouldn't be blowing around out here. And uh, a quick note on uh, the way it's pressed. I think Andrew mentioned that it was a pressed leaf, and uh, it fits the uh, <laughs> that fits it perfectly. Uh, I went to break it up, and it was just like big old chunks of leaf uh, coming off the plug there, and uh, it broke up nicely. Uh, it came apart real nice. Uh, kind of reminded me a little bit of Twist uh, tobacco, the way it unravels and uh, rubs out. So. But that ain't the only thing we got going today. Let me put my tools down here before we get started. But we got this here. Great big old box. We'll do a jumbo yabo today. So, I'll set that there. I'll try not to knock my camera and everything down. But uh, we're going to try and kill two birds with one stone here. So we're going to do a first impressions video as we're going through and uh, doing the yabo here. So, let me get this bad boy lit up. I got it in my uh, Stanwell 245 Featherweight. And uh, it's been a while since I've smoked on this thing. I gave it a good thorough clean in the other day. And, uh, you know, this used to be the pipe I traveled around with a lot because it was so light. But uh, ever since I kind of using corn cobs a little more often, i kind of been neglecting this one. So, it's freshly cleaned, reamed. Uh, one of these days I'm going to have to get around and really do some work to it uh, since it did travel around with me everywhere in my pocket or in my cup holder and uh, all sorts of various different ways in a backpack or whatever. Uh, showing a little bit of wear. I don't know if you can see any of it on the video there. But um, yeah, it's starting to fade out real good there and it's got uh, some issues around the bowl here. I mean, it's still good, but... Uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of work on it, but uh, it ain't nothing too horrible, nothing that can't be fixed. Uh, it's got a few dings, but uh, I really like this pipe, and uh, I'd heard that they had discontinued this shape. Uh, Stanwell uh, discontinued the 245. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on it, so I've been uh, asking around at a few tobacconists, and uh, one of them told me, uh, you know, they discontinued it, so I uh, have to definitely keep looking. I can't tell if my camera keeps trying to slide away or not. But uh, before we get to that, I also got my sweet tea. I got a straw with it this time. Mmm. Makes it a whole heck of a lot easier. But anyway, I'm gonna quit chatting and get into this here impression video. bit warm out today. The neighbors are all out. Hmm. You know? Uh, first few puffs there are kind of tangy. A little bit of spice. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Uh, a little bit of a kind of like banana nut bread. Uh, just kind of the after flavor. Not so much banana, but the uh, spices and everything that go in with it. Kind of getting a zesty and tanginess to it. I think there might be a little bit of perique in here too. Huh. 
don't know, it seemed like I'm getting a little bit of perique on the retro hell there. But, um, anyway, uh, we'll puff on this a little bit here, and, uh, we'll get into this here box opening. And I got it all taped up good here, so, at the... Don't want to use the keys if I don't have to. One of these years, I'll get me a tripod and we won't have to worry about knocking the camera down. Like I'm doing. Better, kinda. Hopefully. All right. Uh, I think I mentioned before I was wanting to kind of bulk up my uh, cellar a little bit, and uh, I think I also mentioned I was kind of moving back towards a whole lot of uh, OTC blends. Is kind of like the backbone of the rotation, and just kind of having the tins of tobacco around to age, and you know, to kind of have them for a treat. Or, you know, for special occasions. But, uh, I went ahead and, uh, got some over the counters here. God dang. We'll shut this down here. See if that makes it any easier. You know, I can kind of bring them up and we won't be knocking the camera over constantly. So, we got all this here paper. All right, here we go. All right. First thing. Got another great big old can of Captain Black Royal. And to go along with that, got another can of Captain Black Royal. So we are going to just stack those there. And we'll see what else we got in here. Let's see. We have a great big old can of Prince Albert. Yes, Prince Albert in a can. Let's see if I can get this in here. There's just not enough room on my table. And I'm about to knock the thing over again. And, watch out! Two! That is two. Prince Albert's. So. I've been wanting to get a big old bulk container of that uh, for quite a while here lately. And uh, everywhere I've checked, they've just kind of been sold out and it's back ordered and everything else, or at least at the time I made this order. So, whenever I did find it and at the price, uh, I decided I'd go ahead and grab two cans of that as well. And the next one, I'm trying, you know, completely blind. I haven't uh, tried it myself, but uh, a lot of people recommend it. And uh, OTC Piper <laughs> is actually the one that talked me into go ahead and getting some. But uh, last thing we got here is a little <sighs> Sir Walter Raleigh. And as you can tell, it is in the uh, 14 ounce can as well. So. Like I said, haven't tried this yet, uh, doing it completely uh, blind, untested, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But it comes, you know, very highly recommended, so we got that. Let's try this here. See if we can't get a better picture. Tell you what. One of these years, I will actually get around and get in a decent setup, but for now, we're just going to work with what we have. Ah, oh, we ain't got enough camera to look here. But, let's see if we can get it. Woo! There we go. Yeah, that's better. But yeah, we got all this here. 
in these cans. Feel like they've been sitting for a little while now. And they're all pretty dusty and I'm getting dust all over my hand here. But uh, this is what we got. This is what I'm kind of bulking my cellar up with here. Uh, you know, classic over-the-counter blends. Uh, something to kind of make up a uh, the backbone of my rotation. Something that I can puff on you know, for a long time, multiple times a day, and it lasts forever. So, and uh, something that's a good deal. You know, don't break the bank. And it really uh, helps uh, with the collection. Ah, we'll just go with it like this. I ain't too worried about it right now. Uh, what I am worried about, though, and I found it. Thought I lost my lighter. I'm telling you, this temple bar is uh, really good here. Now, I'm getting kind of a um, savory flavor in there uh, that I can't quite put my finger on. I'm not quite too sure what that is. Uh, I'm definitely getting that pretty, I'm guessing that kind of zesty, tanginess, uh, a little bit of citrusy, is uh, probably from the Turkish. Uh, there's a little bit of Virginia in here. I can tell it's a, a sweetness. But, I mean, it's not super sweet. It's just kind of a uh, afterthought, really. Yeah, uh, the star of this is definitely the Turkish. This is a good tobacco. It's a nice mellow smoke. Uh, it hasn't, you know, started acting up or anything yet. Uh, judging by the uh, note here, the pouch note. Mm, I figured it would have uh, been a lot more citrusy, but uh, it's really not. It's uh, really tame. some good stuff getting that zang I'm enjoying that zang I can't quite put my finger on it it's almost like a fruit of some sort but it ain't quite a, a citrus fr fruit I guess uh, hmm. I don't know this one's interesting uh, to say the least I don't think there's any burly or anything like that in here, not that I can tell. Hmm. This is quite good. You know what, I think I'm going to have to get me a couple of cans of this, uh, let some of it age. I think this is what they would uh, classify as an oriental. You know, because it's real heavy on the Turkish. But uh, most of the orientals I've had have had uh, a tad of Latakia in them. This uh, don't have any. And if it's in there, I mean, it's can't be much at all because I don't taste it. But then again, ever since I had that cold, my... Uh, Stuff has been kind of funky. Uh, seems like everything has a little bit of a saltier flavor to it uh, ever since I got over that cold. So I'm hoping that'll hurry up and clear up within the next week or two. But uh, the cold itself is actually gone. It's just uh, had some lingering effects from it. I don't know, I think it might have been because I couldn't smell or taste anything for like a week straight there. Uh, now that I can, <laughs> it just everything seems a little saltier than it really is. I'm going to have to try this in a bigger pipe. Uh, this is actually a fairly small bowl. Uh, 
I've already, see, gone through quite a bit of it here, just in that little amount of time. But I can tell just by smoking it this far that this is one of those tobaccos that's probably going to get better as you smoke it. You know, this would probably do uh, really good in my near up that I got. But anyway, y'all, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I'm going to sit here and uh, puff on this a little while longer, try to get a better feel for it, uh, see what else I can pick out. Uh, this is just a first impressions. Uh, it usually takes me a good week or two to, you know, really dive into a tobacco and uh, really start picking stuff out. And sometimes it takes longer than that, depending on the tobacco. But uh, anyway, uh, again... Uh, I forgot to mention where I got these. Uh, again, got the can of uh, Sir Walter Raleigh, uh, original uh, Prince Albert in a can, <laughs> original. Got two uh, big old 14 ounce cans of that, and got uh, two of the uh, cans of Captain Black uh, Royal. Like I said, trying to bulk up the cellar a little bit, and uh, I actually got these at uh, Smokers Outlet online.com I believe is what it's called uh, I'll double check that and put it down here but uh, if it's wrong or if I'm wrong uh, the correct address will be down here you guys can uh, go check it out but uh, really good deal uh, like I said I checked um, my normal haunts uh, smoking pipes pipes and cigars uh, they were either sold out back ordered uh, you know just whatever so I got to looking around on the internet came across these guys now they're not a tobacconist uh, in the sense, uh, well, they're not an old school tobacconist, say like, uh, you know, a local brick and mortar would be, or uh, pipes and cigars. Uh, they don't just deal in the uh, premium uh, blends. I mean, they also sell uh, rolling tubes, roll your own cigarette tobacco, vaping stuff. I mean, so they're not like a traditional uh, tobacconist. Uh, they're more of like, uh, you know, the discount smoke shop that you would go into, uh, uh, in the strip mall or <laughs> you know or whatever but uh, they had a lot of really good deals uh, good prices on everything and they got a lot of the uh, traditional over-the-counter uh, pipe tobacco uh, like Captain Black uh, Sir Walter Raleigh uh, Lane Limited uh, all those different types so there's a lot of good stuff on there if you want to go browse check it out see if you can get any good deals and uh, they have a rewards point program uh, I forget exactly how it works. I got so many, I think 180 rewards points uh, off of this order here. Whenever I did it. So you get rewards points and then you can cash that in kind of as a store credit later on whenever you get enough. But anyway, I uh, thought y'all might uh, be interested in that. Uh, they also sell pipes too and kind of like the drugstore pipes like Dr. Graybo and stuff. So a lot of good deals. Uh, just go check them out, uh, have a look around, see what y'all find, and, uh, you know, hopefully you can find you a good deal. But, anyway, y'all, I've gone on long enough, and, uh, like I said, this is a great tobacco. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting some more, uh, getting a little more in-depth into it here. But we'll talk about that another day. Until then, we will talk at y'all later.